understand the difference between a true fruit, false fruit and parthenocarpic fruit. So to begin with, true fruit is a fruit which is converted from ovary. So as we know, ovary transforms into fruit and ovules transform into seeds. So in the case of true fruits, that's what we have. In the case of false fruit, what happens? In the case of false fruit, it so happens that uh, when there is true fruit, what would happen? The other floral parts would degenerate and fall off. However, under false fruit, the other floral parts don't degenerate. They do not fall off. So some of them along with ovary are utilized and they are mainly the thalamus or the inflorescence. So that's what is uh, the formation of false fruits and then is parthenocarpic fruits. Parthenocarpic fruits are those fruits that develop without fertilization. Now note a very important assertion reason question that can come up. All parthenocarpic fruits are false fruit that is correct but all false fruits are not parthenocarpic fruits. I repeat it again. All parthenocarpic fruits that happen without fertilization are false fruit. This is a correct statement. But on the other hand, if I say all false fruits are parthenocarpic fruits, it is incorrect. So some of the uh, within the subset of this false fruit, as you can understand, we do have parthenocarpic fruits as simple as that but there are other fruits that do exist where ovary along with thalamus or inflorescence has an important role in the formation now examples parthenocarpic the best example is banana okay why parthenocarpic fruits are so important these fruits are usually seedless again lot of false fruits are also seedless but parthenocarpic fruits are specifically seedless because there is no fertilization that occurs and also uh, parthenocarpic fruits can be a result of growth hormones. So because they are prompted by the growth hormones, parthenocarpic fruits can generate. Okay, true fruits, a good example is grapes, false fruit, a good example is apple. So here we have the first thing which is the parthenocarpic fruit. Now parthenocarpic fruit as we said can be a result without fertilization. They would require, they can be due to growth hormones or they could, uh, they could also be seedless but they happen without fertilization and they are a subset of the false fruit. Coming on to the true fruits. Um, under the true fruits what is important is to understand that uh, true fruits develop from the ovary. The other floral parts actually degenerate and when they degenerate they fall off. So the ovary turns into the fruit and the ovules turns into the seed. So true fruits are important to understand. So under the classification of true fruits we can define true fruits as fleshy fruits and dry fruits. Fleshy fruits can again be of three types simple aggregate and multiple dry fruits can be dehiscent and indehiscent now let's first understand the dry fruits we already know what are dry fruits so these are the fruits that we usually come consume like raisins walnuts peanuts so they these are dried fruits as the name suggests so when we dry them we utilize them as simple as that so we call them as dried fruit now under the dried fruit, we understand that it can be dehiscent. Dehiscent actually means that they have a covering over them. So the good example would be nuts, peas. So nuts, uh, peanut, if you can see, you open the first layer and then you have the peanuts that are there. Okay, so peanuts, nuts, beans, pumpkin are some examples of dehiscent dry fruits. When it comes to indehiscent dry fruits, what are the good examples? Indehiscent dry fruits, sunflower, dandelion are good examples. Now coming on to the fleshy fruit. Fleshy fruits are those fruits which have the pulp. Now these could be simple 
एग्रीगेट और मल्टीपल सिंपल कैन बी फर्दर क्लासिफाइड एज रूप्स एंड बेरीज ना वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बेरीज एंड रूप्स ड्रूप्स हैव वन सीड बेरीज हैव मेनी सीड एज सिंपल एज दैट सो गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ड्रूप्स वुड बी मैंगो पीच दे हैव जस्ट वन सीड विद इन द फ्रूट बेरीज द गुड एग्जाम्पल कुड बी ग्रेप्स ऑरेंजेस सो दे हैव मेनी सीड्स विद इन द फ्रूट वी कॉल दोज आज सिंपल वंस देन वी हैव एग्रीगेट नाउ वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सिंपल एंड एग्रीगेट सिंपल हैज अ सिंपल ओवरी विद ओनली वन पिस्टल एग्रीगेट हैज न्यूमरस सिंपल पिस्टल्स विच आर पार्ट ऑफ इट सो एग्रीगेट फ्रूट्स द गुड एग्जाम्पल इज ब्रैम्बल और वॉट इज नोन एज द ब्लैकबेरी ब्लैकबेरी इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर्म ऑफ एग्रीगेट फ्लैशी फ्रूट बिकॉज विद वन ओवरी there are multiple pistils uh, raspberry is an another good example of aggregate fruit coming on to multiple fruits multiple fruits are unique here many flowers combine to form one mass so pineapple is an excellent example besides pineapple we have mulberry and breadfruit as some other examples now pineapple why it is so unique have you ever studied about pineapple pineapple the most interesting thing is there are around 200 flowers that combine to form one fruit it is native to the regions of south america uh, slowly it moved to other areas and was one of the major plantation crops in later period but as we understand it is multiple that means many flowers combine to form the mass of one fruit so more than 200 flowers in the case of pineapple combine to form one fruit so this is a classification for true fruits so true fruits i repeat again can be classified as fleshy fruits or dry fruits okay when when i say fleshy fruits what is the important aspect that we need to understand fleshy fruits have the pulp with them however there are other fruits where there is no pulp which is seen okay the next important thing that we would understand here is in the dry fruits it is dehiscent or indehiscent dehiscent is one where uh, we understand that they have a covering you open the covering and you have something so uh, you have the seeds so these are called as dehiscent nuts peanuts beans pumpkin are some example indehiscent there is no such covering or uh, so sunflower dandelions are good example coming on to next is the false fruit apple is a unique false fruit okay why apple is a unique false fruit the predominant reason here is that under apple we have the thalamus which develops as a fruit so there can be various options where uh, the things can develop up as false fruit so what could be the option for example in the case of jack fruit it is inflorescence which develop then we also have uh, the example of apple where it develops from thalamus so jack fruit has inflorescence thalamus is an example where you have um the uh, apple as one of the false fruit there are other false fruits for example pear gourd cucumber are other examples of false fruit so what is the basic similarity between the two the major similarity between the false fruit and the true fruit is that both of them contain the structural parts that enclose the seed and they have juicy pulp uh, which is also sometimes aromatic in nature now coming on to the differences between the true and the false fruit the definition as we already understood here the fruit is derived from ovary here it's not just the ovary but other floral parts that also degenerate to form the false fruit or sometimes it, there is no fertilization that occurs as in the case of parthenocarpic fruits the another name for true fruit is eucarp and for false fruit we call it as pseudocarp
Pseudo means false, you means true, a common terminology that we would understand uh, over the time period. Then the development, the fruits develop from mature ovary in the case of a true fruit. However, here it develops from other parts, parts other than the ovary as well. The next is the formation. The true fruit forms only after fertilization. Here there can be fertilization or there cannot be fertilization. If there is no fertilization, that is an example of Parthenocarpic. If there is fertilization but is still a false fruit, we call uh, those where thalamus and inflorescence are responsible. Now the seeds. True fruits always would have seeds. False fruit, uh, specifically if they are Parthenocarpic, they won't have uh, any seeds. So that's one of the other differences that we understand. And finally, the examples. Good example of true fruit would be grape, mango, maize. However, coming on to the examples of false fruit, what would be the good example? Jackfruit, apple, gourd, cucumber as we discussed are some of the good examples for false fruit. So in this lecture we have understood what is true fruit, false fruit and parthenocarpic fruit. Very very important concept the differences between them and uh, the examples for the same extremely important for your examination point of view. Thanks for joining in.